Welcome back! Today I will be talking about the Chinese dragon, the fifth zodiac as you may know it. This is a new series I'm starting. If you know any kind of mythical creatures you would like to see, please stick to Asian creatures for now. Please put it in the comments and tell me if you like the new series. I enjoy hearing from you guys. For the rest of the month of March, I will be doing Asian mythical creatures. Now, on with the video! Do not get mad at me if I do mispronounce these words. Chinese is not one of my first languages. The Chinese dragon, or as it is called in its native language, Long. The Long is different from the dragons from Europe and the West. Instead of it being a symbol of evil and destruction, the Chinese dragon is a sign of knowledge, good luck, and strength. The Chinese dragon is also known to bring rain to the land during drought. The Chinese dragon was associated with the Emperor of China, then used to represent imperial power. The founder of the Han Dynasty, Han Dyn Dynasty Lu Bang, believed he was conceived after his mother had a dream about a dragon. But now the Chinese dragon is a symbol of the culture of China and some other parts of Asia. Now, it is also the fifth zodiac in the 12 year cycle. The earliest known description of a dragon is in the styled C-shape representation carved in jade, found in Eastern Inner Mongolia. It belongs to the Hongxin culture, which thrived between 45,000 and 30,000 BCE. There are many different festivals that are made to celebrate the dragon, such as the Dragon Boat Festival, where dragon-decorated boats race through the waters of many Chinese cities. Then you've got the Chinese New Year, Year of the Dragon, usually shown with dragon dances. Dragon dances are where a group of dancers control a puppet dragon to follow a routine. The Chinese dragon is the fifth in order of the 12 year cycle of the Chinese zodiac. Common characteristics of water type dragon tend to work hard throughout life and gain reputation and fame. They sometimes overthink and worry but will smoothly pass through the decade. As we move closer to adding the color to the art, I will tell you the meaning of the colors I chose, red and gold. The color red mostly stands for good fortune and happiness. It is often used in large celebrations such as weddings. It is very much so a sign of luck and fiery passion in the heart. Pure yellow dragons have been called superior and the most powerful of dragons because they represent the emperor and the imperial family. Gold is very similar. It is representation of wealth, wisdom, and compassion. The Chinese New Year, the opening dragon dance, begins with the arrival of a regal golden dragon held a loaf by a group of men. If you wish to know the sources, I will hopefully be able to link them in the description below. So, if you are curious in the Chinese dragon more, um, I'll have the links in the description. Now, I'll let the video continue without me talking. I hope you all are enjoying the video, and see you guys at the end. Bye.
Thanks for watching. Sorry for the bad audio quality near the end. Please like and subscribe. Till next time. Bye.